so back escapes, back survival. Uh, what's the class? Ah, hockey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I have four classes, uh, and all of them are hooking. So there's a chance that at the end, end of the fourth class, you will get it. Yeah, and this is what, expect, what is expected. Uh, it's not that you don't, it's your fault, but just it takes a while. Uh, so expect that, and we will do basically the same, same thing, all four classes. Back escape, side choke, twister, just for the fun of it. Uh, because now we have an answer, a pretty good game actually to system to, to balance out the twister game. Uh, so uh, may also have a, like a twister guy maybe here so we can test. Uh, so and then we have uh, side, uh, baseball jokes, no gi and gi baseball jokes. We will just do nothing and we hopefully win. Yeah. So uh, and I like always say, teaching you to do nothing is the hardest thing because everybody wants to do something. So that's kind of, I'm pushing the envelope <laughs> to actually minimize the movement and just survive. Anyway, I showed the hawking, then you will try it, maybe 10 seconds. Then uh, I think you know it all, but then you don't think so. Yeah? And then we have to teach you why you know it all, actually. So, so this is what you need to do. Just see, don't, don't, uh, don't go for just. So that's a, like, a, I guess, a reverse shrimp because you have to do that move. Yeah, got a minimal inward because inwards are coming also here. So uh, arms, I guess legs or toes on a mat, turned, so both toes. Arms, this is usually squeezing, this is usually opening up. So that's kind of the pressure and the head is on the pillow. Yeah? So let's try it, uh, 10 seconds left, 10 seconds right. And then that's it, yeah? Then I just have to show you how it works. So let's go. And pretend you understand. <laughs> pretend you understand. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's it. Yeah. Now you, now you know everything. So, um, bro, I will use you because of your bad, bad back. Yes, make it worse. So, uh, back, back stuff. It's a bigger system. I've just been teaching seminars back to back. It's also weird stuff when you say it in English, back to back. Uh, uh, like different four seminars, Sweden, Denmark. Right now I came from Germany. So usually it takes me six hours to teach most of it. This side, underhook up, underhook downside. So, and then we just, we try to kill everything what it is and then the escapes will come later. I will never teach you escapes. That's not my job. Go to YouTube, yeah? So, so that's what we want. With somebody on us, on the back on it. So the leg is here, so you can't, sag because it just hurts and if you butt this there and your head is there so you usually push and that angle is very necessary so here you will get you know uh, first of all choked or hugged yeah so then pull a little bit pull this they got to back you know arch a little bit so that sucks the body triangle angle is way better the body triangle actually and to squeeze oh yes and that arm is killable that's not the best side grab the arm and kill this, go over, yes. So that's killable and then they can choke. So those are mo mostly threats from this side, yeah? chokes and stuff, and also gi chokes. Uh, I will teach you there's no gi chokes anymore. So, so if I do this, so uh, body triangle, it's weird, yeah? Because I give them a diagonal, I go for a choke. The arm is short, uh, even palm to palm arm is short. This arm, to so kill this arm, go. It's really weird because the angle is off, yeah? And the key chokes are gone. Well, that's the craziest stuff we discovered two weeks, uh, two months ago. Uh, well, the, the key guys can test. I can, I've done a public test already, so I know it works. So we will kill that side. Let's say everything still works if you make mistakes, but I will give you the option to win when they even have both lapels, everything, they pull, nothing works. And we will do a public test today. You can try to choke me. 
And now then you know that you get choked here, you get choked, you, you're not gonna choke here, you get choked there. So there's a idea. So what I ask you to do right now is try, and they will help you also because it's full body coordination. Yeah, so try it, so to speak, wrong, like usually YouTube shows, you land here, and that's, you know, every YouTube video ends with some kind of submission here, yeah? So I kind of resist that. So now think about what was the hockey. Toes, you circle this way, your legs are pushing into him, you circle this way, your arms are not two on one, forget that, yeah? Think about one on one, think about one, think about one. One on one seems to be better than two on one because that's already escaped. Let's we'll take a wrist fight. And that's very terrible. Right now, they can't wrist fight you. You control their wrist. So, and the head is in a hawking. So, you will mess it up. Don't worry about it. Go left, go right, help each other, all the details. And then, if you have time, do some testing. Straight body, you can pull, tilt. It's harder to pull. You know, you can a little bit test. So, you can find that little bit reason. Don't go 100% testing. Yeah, test a little bit because. We only have an hour, okay? And then we just make it better, and then next one I show you the choke with the key. Let's go. Switch on your own. So, common mistakes. You guys like to be flat. Don't be flat. So, Jiu-Jitsu basically, well, I'd say, I'd say, I, I think, uh, bad, good, bad, Good, bad. Those angles more, yeah? So this is obviously bad. This is better. That's a hawking, 45 degrees. We play here, maybe richest stuff, everything 45. Nice to survive, side control, who cares? This is terrible. That angle, Kimura's arm bars, everything is kind of maybe possible. This is kind of better because we're running man's and this is, you know, bad. Everything bad is my transition. Everything good is my trench, angle-wise. And then as an attacker, you want to keep there you want to keep me in my transition zone, that's flat and verticals and stuff. And if I get my angles, then you have a harder time. So we're fighting, we know kind of, we're fighting for opposites. So uh, what's also, what you don't do right now is you, you, you want to go flat on the back. I don't recommend that. Later you can do that because it's your choice. But at the moment to avoid certain things, you shouldn't. I'm always talking about this perspective and not boxing like, you know, like a professional boxer maybe, yeah? So I'm talking about how things should be, and then you earn your freedom. It's gonna get very boring, and then you do whatever you want. You open the boundaries and be the artist you're inside, yeah? Okay? So, uh, so, uh, roll, let's do there. So, it's, I know the mantra is put your back on a mat. Yeah, everybody has heard that, yeah? Put your back on a mat. I think it's the wrong thing to do, actually. Put your shoulder on a mat would be better. Because back on a mat means both shoulders. And both shoulders are, let's call, let's call it terrible. So, so I don't want to go, wait, if I do this, it seems like, yes, I escaped the back. But this is quick mount, yeah, very fast. And now you're flat. And every mount escape you know basically starts from here, yeah? But if you're flat, then you have to fight yourself back here. So why do, why do that to yourself, yeah? So that is flat, this transitioning phase that I have to hide from him because he's gonna catch me, yeah? Also, this arm is right now really strong, yeah? It's very hard to lift, you know, if I have even better grips here. So if I go flat, this elbow becomes very, wait, very weak, and now the side chokes are happening here. And grip traps and everything else. And now you're in trouble again. So those attacks are available. So with the hawking, they're not. And that's why we're just there. I'm not gonna say that this is the best thing ever. It kinda is. Uh, yeah, it's very contradicting, yeah. But uh, we're doing that position that we call hawking because that's better than the previous one. And if I find something better, I will do that better one. But right now, the, the, what, what I do cancels everything there is. So that's what, what I, why I do it. So every attack is gone, literally, yeah? So, if they wanna mount, though, so see what happens? See that goddamn leg? Yeah, wait, if my leg would be up, they can escape the leg and way quicker come up. Go back, go. That kind of, you know, I have now, slowly go to Mount I have now one Mississippi, two Mississippi, you know, three Mississippi. I'm like, okay, it's coming to Mount, I have time to react. Okay, so everything is meant to slow time down. And side choke is gone. Side choke, we're gonna do this, also in a whatever class I have, 
and that hawking structure is a side shock defense by nature. I don't do anything now. But wait, look, I have a clicks, and now if he goes to side shock, look at what happens. I unclick, go, side shock. See, and I click back. And the angle is a side shock defense. I'm gonna circle the same way, push his head on the mat, and now nothing is usually there. So just by having this, unclick, click, and I have nothing. So I do nothing and I win. So they, they don't have a side choke, no choke, no arm trap, no quick mount, and body triangles are weird, and they can't extend me from that angle. Let's call it my size. I took it, you know, smaller person so I can, you know, look better. So, uh, also if I'm here, they can really pull me. This is sucks, yeah? But if I have this pull, the strength is gone. Really weird. And now also, you know gi chokes, you're not a gi guy. Okay, you do? I can. Okay, yes. I saw it. See, and then the, one of the craziest tests is, uh, is we can do a, let's say, a decent enough, wait, to this side. So here, they get lapel, yeah? They get front, top. No, no, take top. Top one, take the bottom one, and then just go. Uh, yes, that sucks, yeah? If I'm here, all stretched out, everything works, yeah? And now I do a hawking, wait. So I give him, I take a little bit from him, take the grips, go. Go, 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 go. There's nothing there. Let go. So, the angle is super weird because the bottom arm will be dead. It's like, there's no strength if I do a hawking, there's like, you, you feel it like, I can't pull with this arm. So, and uh, you have to believe it. In that sense, you have to believe it. You have to, you have to try to believe it. Uh, but uh, if you have a gi, you can try. No gi guys, you can just, you know, do the test, palm, choke, whatever, it's not, angle should be right. And I need to be, so to speak, pushing up and spiral, yeah? So what I do is like, I push myself up and spiral. I don't sag down up so that the shoulder comes into, goes into, his fa into the partner's face. So that blocks it. So now you know more, try it more, uh, ask some questions. And uh, I guess the point is to get that position. We can test it a bit, but we'll see how far we get. But at least I hope you get, we'll get intrigued. And that was also a good, good point of the class. Let's go. Now it's a good time, I think, go back to go back to walking uh, on your own. So always try it like, with a partner, then it's sometimes weird because it's ruining everything with the attacks, then do it on your own. And I would say it's very, very close to, to what you do on your own, what you do with a partner. So what most of you, you're doing this, because I know you're programmed in a way that, because that's what you have in mount sometimes also, yeah? Like you do this and then your form is like this. So try to crunch. This is already mount defense. If I'm here in side control bottom and they're there, there's no mount transition because the space is gone, yeah? If I do this, then you know, that space is needed for them. So if you do that mistake, you will have a harder time, so, so be it. But if you're here, that space is covered, so elbow knee escape, everything is ready. So that's the point that you, you shorten one side and you lengthen the other side. So that seems to be the most problem that you want to stay, you know, uh, like on your back. Some of you still do, but less, less of you. And then crunching is missing. So, and uh, in crunching, I have usually like visuals I use is, uh, you know, obliques. You know, think about pushing your obliques. Some of you have a uh, um, stand-up background, like uh, kickboxing and stuff. Think about uh, this. You know, this is a shrimp. Yeah, it's universal because this same move. In like in jiu-jitsu, you do. So in jiu-jitsu, do it for something else, pulling guard, but in stand-up, you actually have to have elbow outside. Elbow inside gets you still kicked, yeah? So it's a similar, like, you can argue what this does, but that's the same, same shrimp. So it's, it's universal body motion in that sense, yeah? And when you do hockey, what's that, yeah? Mayweather. It's a Philly style of boxing, because you have this, and then you shoot from here, and you know, but that's the same structure in that sense, you have the shoulder. If you do good jiu-jitsu, you're actually a pretty good boxer.
<laughs> okay? Or you have an easier time actually transitioning to boxing, I think, because you're used to this, not this, yeah? So you play. Um, anyway, uh, what else? So crunching, fix that on your own, maybe crunch, then do it to the partner. And also, uh, come show, uh, no, no, uh, black belt, uh, behind you, Mr. Black belt. So you get the feelings too, so you can help him better. So we do another test, the chokes. Uh, so here, I will get choked, go. So this is, go, go, go. Go full on. Ah, uh, sucks. Wait, and now if I have my hawking, go. Ah, I know. <laughs> Your head was go. Not go. So it's still, yeah. it's still, but now I make it even worse for him. So now I do like a really push. So he, he wants me to do straight, yeah? Yeah. So later, that's why we do this, because this arm is short now. Yeah. So if I do this, that's a sh long arm, he gets this. Yeah. Later, I could do a, like a four hour class. I have what to do here because when we a little bit, let's go like 30%. Uh, let's wrist fight a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, I see. Let's go. Yeah, the arm shorter. Much yes, shorter. Yes. Yeah. So now it's just a you know, wrist fight. Even if he gets this grip, wait, give me the underhook. Even if he gets this grip, go. Get another grip. This grip has to be fought. And now the more I'm up, go. Yeah. So, and I can do it without the arms. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> now you can help me. Got so, it. so that's why defensive BJ is hard because you have to go through that. And some say it's not very pleasant for. And to find out those details, you have to get to choke a little bit. You know, try <clears throat> joke, try <clears throat> joke, try mm, no joke. No, oh, interesting. And this is how it grows. But it's a lot of suffering. As a student, I don't complain about it. It's our genes. But, uh, but, but it's, that's why it's hard road to figure out, you know, and build systems. But that's kind of the angle. So it really has to be all pushing in, crunching the arms and stuff, the, the, the way, and then that structure kills most of their attacks. I don't know any attacks they can win with. And also those jokes that somebody with a gi, a juju. Yes, I will now choke you public. <laughs> so even, let's say, uh, let's do this way, this side. So, go the hawking, crunch, right? Just crunch. Even, wait, and you know those chokes, yeah? Even those chokes won't work because of the hawking pressure. Because usually, uh, wait, say, second body, you usually have this, then people have those options, you know, everything. If, if they have a hawking, go hawking, head on a mat, everything else, that is actually also far away. There's no that twisting neck pressure from there. So, it, thank you. It works also against every, you know, because the one arm is choking and then other arm is, you know, lapel, behind the head. It's like a, you know, a possibility arm which kind of choke you will do. So, none of them will work. And then, then you, if you get choked, then you know exactly why. You can still they do because transitions and everything else and you mess up and you go like, which way, choke, you know? Uh, but if you're there, if you learn to be there first and then work backwards, like to more danger, then it's doable. So, rear naked choke, palm chokes, face cranks are gone, chokes are gone, body triangle is very hard to get actually. Mount is gone if you crunch and be on one side, not flat. Uh, what else? And side choke is gone right away by essence. That you know. And usually what happens, they either they leave to side control or they have nothing. So if I get this, they have less, you know? And if they win something, so now it's a sport, yeah? Who does more mistakes, who gets to, you know, pull that rope, so to speak, to their side more, and I pull it back and we fight there. And then we have a system that's underhook downside, because we have to have both, yeah. And everything I'm known for before, I think, like a back escape throw, like there's also a DVD about it, and got the two clubs or the seminars, and also uh, Iceland camp, and then uh, Zen camp. I'm usually known for wait, this structure, yeah. I play this a lot, still good, everything. Now we just know we did this, now we do this. Yeah? The head is changing. Everything fits into the system. So because if the wrist fight, blah blah blah, boom, I'm up right away. So and the transition from hawking to running man is movement pattern based. And then we go. So it's it's part of the system already. It doesn't intervene anything and 
doesn't contradict anything you know so far. So I thought to do this because I was trying to find more ways to be in danger because this was kind of cool, but I was like, what if I give my back more? And then this. But also I think it helps you guys more because maybe you don't play that sideways stuff, you should. In that sense, it's a big, big system. And then that probably helps more because you can relate to that more. Because that's what back escapes are to you in that position. So do it again, really uh, be a, help each other, like test everything, like put them in place and then let's go choke. Nice talking, I try a little bit. And so it, you feel it works. Don't only just switch, but also try to test a little bit some of the things. Cool, cool hawking and then go. I will go to side chalk slowly. So keep that structure. I feel, oh, actually it's harder to go. You won't find out any details a lot today because side chalk will be different, you know, the class, but you can test a little bit. So I hope you just will be intrigued because also I do public tests, so, you know, they could choke me here and I would just, let's change the topic of the seminary, no? But it, it works and that's why we do it. So a little bit more, address those mistakes that I talked about and we have half an hour more. Let's go. So, uh, what, what, what else? Uh, quick questions. What's, what is what is you don't understand? What's the problem right now? Can anybody say like, oh, I don't understand this, this, or this part, that part? Go. Very nice. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, forget two on one. Two on one is not a bad thing. It's like, wait, jujitsu. I don't recommend this. I recommend this. This is first. This is second. Yeah, so if they get seat belt, one on one is better in, in a correct context than two on one because they can wrist fight. I know you wanna do two on one, wait, when you wanna do those things, yeah? But then they can wrist fight you. They can still get this and hold on tight. And then there's no way of doing this anymore. And if you fall to the under downside, they can trap your arms and stuff and everything, you know, that Danaher straight jacket system. So with one on one, it doesn't, and if they grab this way, wait, if they grab top, choking arm top, just grab the thumb and everything is good. They usually have to hide, yeah? Choking arm is in the bottom. And then just actually two days ago, we were doing this and then Dennis Schindler ruined it uh, by adding new detail. I hate to give credit to him, but now we grab, I think we're testing this for grabbing the thumb. It's actually quite good. So this is, ruins even more, yeah? So there's one way, it makes sense in some context. So just for you, you can, this was old, yeah, this is even better and then just one on one, and they can't do wrist fighting anymore. So that's the right away. Control the arms. If you know wrestling, control both wrists. Wrist, they can't really do much. I know there's two on ones also, you know, but one on one is in that sense more neutral. So here and right away this. And somehow, like I said before, this is very hard for me to explain because for me it's super easy. So because people want to stretch, then you get here side choke a little bit, yeah, sometimes chokes and then mount it. But I actually want you to crunch. And what the move is, what I want you to do in essence, is this leg locks or, you know, even get back to guard. I wanna invert. That's one direction, yeah? So, wait, let me go. So if I do this, I push into him, and then, you know, that's the guard. So now that's the, that's the first direction, so to speak. Get seat up. Right away, yeah. And I'm pushing into him, and then head goes there. And I'm looking, everything is that way. If I look there, I get face cramped. Not that bad if my shoulder is in a way. If I'm here, then they can choke me, go. And this happens, go back. So if the shoulder is in a way, I saw, I these days play like this also. Go for choke. And then, yes, <laughs> the arm is in there, so now I can wrist fight also. But the arm is in a way, thank you. So that crunch is very necessary. That, and if you shrimp, that's, you know, backward shrimp. And, and it's not so much taught in Jiu-Jitsu sometimes. People will mostly shrimp more here, you know. But if somebody's there, you're gonna, you know, shrimp backwards also. And to give you one more context for, for back shrimping, do it again, go side control. Um, let's say if I'm here, I'm doing my hooking, wait, relax. I'm doing this and I shrimp, I get hooks. Yeah, I can reach the hooks. I do this a lot uh, with regular side control. That's flat, mostly you won't do those escapes because it's crazy hip rotation. 
But if you, if you do nice side control, whatever version, then you can hunt to those hunt those mistakes also, what it does. And I can shrimp trickle this way out. I can go away. So that's the backward shrimping, yeah? It's a direction thing that they need to deal with as a side control player. And if you, don't, if you really want to control somebody in top. So I'm kind of known for that, you know, kind of being in side control in bottom and actually prefer being there compared to, you know, passing the guard. Because I get my tricks there, I can survive, I don't mind. I get my highs from the chokes, yeah? Uh, it is a, because it's so, so big danger. You get a really nice high after that, yeah? Uh, so, and sense of accomplishment uh, by doing nothing, actually. So, uh, so uh, you know, weird thoughts. So, do it again on your own. And we're in, I think in 45, whatever the clock is, I will do a couple of drills also when I do call outs and I call out different tests that you can do to partner. But try to fix it again a little bit. And like I said before, it's somehow, I haven't learned to say it yet. You, like, you know, like a Chris Payne's the, the class, you know, that he has 42,000 watches. Uh, like, uh, what's that? 42,000 views. views, yeah. And uh, because he got them said it differently than I do. You know, he's my black belt, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Crystal watched this like, God damn it. So I, I usually don't call people my black belts, but we, you know, it's like joke between us. But he, I was saying also, you know, under underhooks and elbows and stuff, but he said it in a way that really resonated with people. I was like, I was like, God damn it, he said it better. So with Hawking also, I, I think in, by teaching and stuff, I have to find a way to say it better because that movement is very weird for you kind of like to do it. So what it resembles. For me, it's very natural. And if you roll with me in this camp, you will see I use it all the time. So it's not like weird jujitsu. So uh, if you have any references, like maybe think about this, that, you can always come and maybe I use that. So it always needs like, you know, more brain power. So uh, do some testing again, whatever you need. But if you hold it, the, your job is to also put them in place and then test, not before if they're broken, you know? Doesn't make any sense. Let's go, five more minutes, then we drill. Another choke, uh, Ezekiel choke, with ghee, very popular. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but now I try it, and then it works also, so always fun. So what he did was our choke, go. this, you know, and then he grabs his own ghee, go. This sucks, right? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Public test, are also very enjoyable. <laughs> yes, so. And now, if I have my Hawkins, yeah, bum, 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 go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Nothing, yeah? Because the right one will hit the grip. Keep the grip. Yeah. And if I do this, go. I get choked out. So that Hawkins, pushing head heavy, everything else is a good choke. Thank you. Uh, so I love public tests with good people. And it's like, you have to believe now. It's like, cut that. Even if you, the point is like, even if you can't do it, you have to see the evidence is possible, yeah? And you have to hear like people that you kind of think, let's say in Jiu Jitsu authorities, you know, brown belts, black belts and stuff, they go like, they can't do it. So that's, that should be intriguing enough that, hmm, it makes sense to study this. Yeah, and now we have four classes and then we do chai chokes and stuff and it makes more sense, you will ask and you will maybe roll with me. But that's also here the, to show that structure is so strong that it's like something is there. Something's worth studying that, you know. And uh, so that's, that's what I do also. I maybe intrigue you and then, you know, we can, we can have a discussion, you can test, and you don't have to believe, but you have to see the evidence. And if evidence is overwhelming, you have to change your mind. You don't go like, I don't like it. So then we have nothing to talk about if you go like, I don't like it, yeah? So now let's, I think we'll see how it works out because we will do a test, we have seven minutes. Uh, uh, I will give you a three, then maybe even a feedback, then three and a feedback. So, uh, and I will call out the tests. And as an attacker, your job is to be a coach and a training partner, not a winner and an asshole. Yeah? Yeah? So, uh, somebody pointed right there. Yeah, that guy. Okay? So, <laughs> I saw it periphery. Yeah? So, in that sense. Uh, so, if I call out like a choke, then go a little bit, you know? Show them that they even fix it a little bit. Yeah? You, you, 
guide them, tend, uh, like, uh, guide them, guide their attention to this detail. Yeah. Then I say pull, slowly pull, so they can still crunch more. So pull is gone. Then I say mount, slowly go to mount. That, oh shit! I will fix that pace, you know, space, and they can't mount me. So don't win, teach. And then you know, if you go to mount, then go back to the back, maybe reset. Yeah. So I guide you a little bit. So think about body triangles. So go up. Like, it's harder. Chokes, gi chokes are harder. So don't go uh, uh, and then just you know they're having a bad day. And later it's a feedback. You know you tell them what was good, what could have been better. But test it, test like you know 20, 30 percent for them. If you're stronger, then it doesn't matter for them 20, 30 percent. Yeah. Okay. So take that into consideration. So uh, let's go pair up and uh, take your best side and listen to my commands. No talking. I will guide you. Ready? Take control, take your best side. And underhook upside. And all kinds of different chokes. You should not succeed. Head on a mat. Head away from them. Don't look at them. Don't put your back on a mat. You should not succeed with a grip. If you succeed with a grip, you should not succeed with a grip. If you succeed with a grip, you're a bad partner. Pull, try to extend that. With both hooks in, try to slowly extend that. Under Slowly, maybe a little bit here, seconds, then let them relax. Just flat, more side, one side. Try to trap their top arm. Try to trap their top arm. In a, with a hawking, it should be very hard. Try to trap their top arm. Try body triangle. <laughs> body triangle should be harder if your hips are higher. You can lift your hips, Mr. Rowe. Choke. Try to choke them. Palm to palm choke. Real naked, you never succeed. You let them fix the mistakes. You let them turn the head away. You can try their gi choke. Let go. Your head is looking there. You look at me, look at me, look at me. Turn the head. Yes. And it's harder for you to get. Pull! Try to pull them so they crunch. So they understand the crunch is killing the pull. Try to slowly mount. Hawkins is a mount defense. Try to slowly mount. Crunch, crunch, crunch. If you're in a good Hawkins, they should not able to crunch, mount easily. Nice, very good. Hawking is a mount defense. Now do everything you mix. Mix it up. Choke, body triangle, mount, side choke, push and I like try to pull. So do everything in a mix and let them win. Defender should win. Attacker should lose. Attacker, you are a nice person. <laughs> Sort of a bad habit I have. Go! Try to slowly choke. Let them do the good walking. Where's the crunch? They're not pushing him, but let them crunch. Don't, don't stress them. So head it away and do the crunch. And this side has to crunch. No, no, why are you turning into it? Are you confused? You see, they're confused. You have to relax. You have to make them relax. Try the different chokes. They can wrist fight. You don't have to let them choke. You can wrist fight a bit. With a key, with palm to palm. You're in the wrong side. Where is it? Yeah. Under the Try to pull. Try to pull. The crunch should come with the pull. Try to trap the arm. Try to trap the arm. The walking position should make it a hard thing to do. 
go more flat. Don't put the leg over, you have to relax. Or somewhere else at the moment. You have to push the head on a mat, you have to go more flat, not so much. You have to do exactly what I told you. You're doing something else, you're going like, ah, oh, no, go away. Do something else. Mount! If you have a good crunch, the mount should be really, really hard. Yes. Now mix it up. Try to slowly mix it up. Yes, exactly. Leg is there. Now you push into him. I think that's the hard part. I know. Yeah. That's a shrimp. So what do you mean? <laughs> Shrimping. Ah, uh, yeah, it's his fault now. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I have no clue if you guys should, uh, will do four classes or not. But I will say, like, if you do four classes, you understand walking way better, yeah? Because now we're mainly missing the crunch. That's super, yeah. I don't know why it's so weird for you. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, it's just I can't. It annoys me. I don't think it's your fault. I think it's my fault, but I just, I'm crunching. And you like, stiff, I'm like, crunch. You go like, Argh. it's like, how can I overrun that? What's in your head? And I have to uh, like teach it better. So uh, definitely it's not your fault. It's a uh, feedback to me. So uh, side choke actually is a good crunching, you know, indicator because if you do side choke, you understand the crunch a lot. So every class kind of pieces together the crunches and everything. So every class is meant to give you a different perspective of the hawking, and then you get it more. So if you do that, I can promise you we, we have a better understanding. So uh, catch me in open maths, like usually everybody says. Um, if you want to understand this, I'm willing to talk about it, debate about it, uh, give you some ideas. What else I know and everything else. So thanks and welcome. This is the gym we train currently. It's not ours. Well, we, we have to close our gym in that sense. So here we are in a residence for a little bit of time when we hunt for our own gym. So welcome to Estonia and uh, let's enjoy the week. Yeah.